Hello everyone, welcome to MMA Wired. What does Frankie Edgar have in mind for his final fight? Will it be against Dominic Cruz at Madison Square Garden? What does Dana White have to say about Adesanya vs Pereira? What are Alex Volkanovski's plans for his next fight? What's going on with Nate Diaz and the UFC? Stick around till the end and we've got you covered. Don't miss out on our next update. Subscribe and get your hands on the latest stories before the rest. First up, let's look at what Dana White has to say about Israel Adesanya vs Alex Pereira. The issue is that a lot of fans were underwhelmed by Israel Adesanya's performance against Jared Cannonier at UFC 276. They were not happy with the five round sparring session they witnessed. After the matchup, Dana White did not address the issue, but he addressed it later. Here's what Dana White said. What did you think of uh, Israel's performance against Jared Cannonier? What did, what did I think of what? Israel's Adesanya's performance. He won. I mean, I, I, I don't know if it was the, the performance that, um, that he wanted to give or that he was selling leading into that fight. And, uh, you know, the, the other thing is, uh, you know, I don't think his opponent was very aggressive either. So it takes two to make a great fight. Do you think that's starting to happen with Israel where, like, you see Romero didn't really come forward and Kananir didn't come forward? Do you think he started entering that Anderson phase where people kind of freeze up in front of him? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It won't happen in the next fight. But who will Israel Adesanya face next? It seems like he will face Alex Pereira. Israel Adesanya says that the matchup against Pereira is being sorted out. Dana White also noted, When, when, when you're sitting here in my position, you can't give too many guarantees you know, uh, I could say stylistically on paper, this should be, you know, or, you know, we feel this is going to be, a I guarantee you, I absolutely positively guarantee you that the next fight that Israel Adesanya fights will be absolutely nuts. Next, let's look at Alex Volkanovsky's plans for his next fight. So Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makachev was announced for USC 280, which will take place in Abu Dhabi in October this year. This will be for the vacant lightweight title. Alexander Volkanovsky wants to face the winner of this contest. Volkanovsky wrote on Twitter, I got winner. Volkanovsky recently defeated Max Holloway for the third time after his unanimous decision win at UFC 276. He wants to pursue a second title, saying he believes he can defend both belts. Dana White seems to be ready for this, but it will be some time before it happens. Alex, obviously, congratulations on an incredible victory tonight. I mean, I, I got to imagine you're pretty thrilled with what you did in there, but just how satisfied are you as you sit there right now? Very satisfied. You know, uh, obviously, it's a bit of a journey, this robbery, robbery yeah? Like uh, taking the belt and uh, having the rematch and then, uh, you know, all that talk and all that, you know, is a big part of uh, not only my career, it just adds to the story, so it's all good, but it was hard. There's a lot of ups and downs in there, you know what I mean? It was a bit that I had to get through, but it was good to finally put an end to it and silence a lot of people, a lot of people that needed silencing too. Currently, Volkanovski is out with a broken thumb that required surgery. But once he is back, it is possible we will see this fight happen. Next, let's look at what's going on with Nate Diaz and the UFC. Diaz has been making the headlines for quite some time. He is a UFC legend and is an important figure in MMA circles, despite winning last way back in 2016. Nate Diaz still remains popular among fans. Even though he's never won a UFC title, he is still a big deal. Diaz has been talking a lot about his contract issues and how UFC is treating him. He wants to get done with his last fight on his contract, then become a free agent. He doesn't want to break his deal with the UFC. He just wants his last fight since he feels his career is in some sort of limbo and he is wasting time. Yeah, I've been held up for, for about a since the last fight, I've been trying to get get this fight going, but um, they don't want to let me out. They don't want to let me out of the contract. So it's just fucking going on and on and on, and I'm ready to rock. Nate Diaz can join boxing or other events and make more money once he leaves the UFC. He has enough star power and personality to make that happen. Further, his fans will also make that happen. Diaz now believes that UFC wants him to take on Conor McGregor. McGregor is still recovering from his injury. Nate Diaz said that he doesn't want to fight McGregor right now since he doesn't want to bring McGregor's popularity back to life. Now there are also rumors that Nate Diaz may face Kazma Chimeyev soon. Lastly, we will look at Frankie Edgar and his plans for his final fight. So Frankie Edgar wants to go back to New York. 
He wants his retirement fight against Dominic Cruz at Madison Square Garden. It could be a pay-per-view card in November of this year. Frankie Edgar said, I'll say a name just because I think uh, it's a more of a legacy fight, you know, and I know he has a fight coming up and everything, and, you know, who knows how it could happen if it go down, but I think Dominic Cruz, you know, he was, uh, he was a champion at, at 135 when I was a champion at 155, you know, they'll both pretty much top of the division. I think that could be an interesting fight, but again, he's got a fight coming up, I, got, I believe, against Cheeto, so, yep. you know. Frankie Edgar also opened up about his retirement decision. He said, I've been kicking the idea of retirement around since my last fight. The last couple of fights obviously didn't go the way I wanted them to. If I'm being honest, I'd fight forever. But that's kind of selfish to my family and to the people that care about me. I need to kind of announce my retirement so I can have a retirement fight and sail off into the sunset. I enjoy this life. It's not work to me. So it's going to be tough to walk away. I'll always be in this sport regardless. And that's a wrap. Will Nate Diaz's contract issues be finally resolved? What do you think about Frankie Edgar's retirement plans? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.